Okay, today we're gonna bleed my brakes. Here is the pump that I have. And then I couldn't find the clear tube that came with it, so I got a new one from Lowe's. Then there's the brake fluids I'm gonna use. There's the last cylinder. I'm gonna start off on the right rear first, because it's the furthest from the master cylinder. This it takes a 19 millimeter. You wanna go in the star position across. on there to bleed the system. Go. Press. Put the dust cap back on. bottles these this is the old fluid I put it in here so that I can see how dirty it was and then there's some I put in here I'm gonna put, this is empty so I'm gonna fill that in here not using this because this the vac using vacuum pumps is the reason as to why there's bubbles and I just it just didn't look right to me so I ended up not using it and I just gravity bled it through using just the hose by the way if you work on your car often or just want to know more about routine maintenance I suggest doing your proper research on your car I usually utilize YouTube Honda Civic forums you know the honda manuals my family knows a lot about cars especially my brothers and this this is the haynes manual i have a honda civic si 2009 
So this one's for my car. They have different ones for um, every car. I've had one for all the cars I ever had. So here's what's cool about it. It gives you like the minimum intervals of when to do things for your car. So I replaced the brake fluid and it's every 30,000 miles or 24 months, whichever comes first. It also has like troubleshooting. So if you hear any like funky noises and you're like, oh, let me look it up. And it's like, oh, abnormal this and that. Or engine will not rotate when attempting to start. And yada yada. Boom. Handy dandy.